In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you give refuge to those who take refuge in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the living God. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you stand by us and you strengthen us always. Christ, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things, which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him, all those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
St. Paul to the Church of Rome. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death, and thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sin. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Jesus tells us in our gospel today to fear no one. My friends, we are in a world shaking in a crisis like we've never seen before. We all live in fear, fear of receiving the coronavirus. We are living in fear today that we cannot live as brothers and sisters. Do you think at times, doesn't it feel like someone has murdered the soul of America while no one was looking? Many of us have been in conversations that end badly because of one's deep convictions. Never, and I say never, talk religion or politics. It will only get you into trouble. Yet, not only does Jesus say, fear no one, Jesus declares elsewhere, fear is useless. To which he adds the words, what is needed is faith. Faith. Faith changes everything. 
Faith is the ability to trust God. It means believing in Him, depending in Him, obeying Him, and keeping our eyes on Jesus Christ. Yes, the anxieties of our life are real. Virtues like love, kindness, joy, peace, inclusion, defeats the power of fear that seeks to kill the soul. This weekend, we have begun, begun a new normal by coming into our church building, trying to do our best in keeping ourselves safe as well as others. But you know, I'm looking at people without masks, without keeping their distance. I see people in groups, like not afraid to become inflicted with this virus. But I ask you to do your best in keeping yourself safe and those around you. And at the same time, trying to do your best in keeping peace and justice within the world around you. If what is needed is faith, then our prayer this day should be, O oh Lord, increase our faith. On this Father's Day, let us take some comfort that God our Father has been and will continue to be with us. No matter what we face in this life, let us always remember our God will never, never leave us alone. Amen. Together now, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gracious God, who rights all wrongs, we come before you now in prayer. For the Church, the people of God, that we may have the confidence to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ everywhere, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all fathers on this Father's Day, those living and those who have passed on to eternal life, that they may always enjoy God's loving care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who desper desperately need to see justice in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community, throughout our nation and world, whose voices need to be heard, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith may always confess its faith in Christ, in words and deeds, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for the sick of our parish, those in the hospitals, come less in homes, for all people who have requested prayers from this faith community for them, their names found in this weekend's bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all those who have died, and for those who will die this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for the special requests made on the St. Thomas prayer line, respect for all life, job opportunities for all, for all our first responders, for the safety of all our military personnel, and for our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord and on this Father's Day, a blessing for all our fathers. God our Father, in your wisdom and love, you have made all things. Bless these fathers, that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord.
Lord, you are holy, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, our blessed Lord took bread, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. But do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank Caggiano, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of our God, Joseph, her husband, the blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, St. Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. At this time, let us make our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before we leave, I want to wish all our fathers, grandfathers, all those who are fathers in this world, a most happy and blessed Father's Day. I said Mass right now for all fathers, living and deceased, and I pray that the good Lord will continue to take care of all fathers, both on heaven and in earth. Today we do enter phase two of uh, coming back to church in a new normal. Uh, here at St. Thomas, we'll have a five o'clock Mass on Saturday, and Sunday morning at 10 and 12 noon. Yes, reservations are needed to come to Mass these days because we're only allowed 84 people in our church. Even though the church seats a heck of a lot more, we uh, are only allowed with the six foot distance, 84 people. And uh, there'll be different changes during the Mass where we won't have the taking up of collection, no sign of peace, uh, coming to communion every six foot. Um, so it's a new adventure, but in the same sense, we have to be safe. So that's why we wear masks to the masses here in church. Our church is open Monday through Friday from nine to four. And if you do come to church, you have to use the side door here and wear a mask while you are in church. So, with all this said and done, I pray that you have a great week and a holy week, a week that will give you strength, a week that will give you peace of mind and heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless each and every one of us, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a great week and be safe.